How the environment and genetics influence prenatal development. This video will discuss the workings of genetics and hereditary as well as how the environment influences the development um, of infants in the prenatal environment. Genes are the units of hereditary that encode biological processes and are comprised of short segments of DNA. Genes are carried on chromosomes, of which there are 23 pairs, 22 autosome pairs and one pair of sex chromosomes, which are located in the nuclei of every cell. There are 46 chromosomes in total, uh, 23 from each parent. Cells are replicated in two different ways. This includes mitosis, which is uh, where normal cell replication occurs for the sake of somatic reproduction. Basically, a single cell divides, replicating into two identical cells that have two sets of chromosomes. Mitosis can help explain growth and repair of aging tissues like the skin, for example. The other form of cell replication is uh, meiosis, which only occurs for gametes. Every time gametes split up, they only have half the number of the chromosomes of the parent cell. They constitute a full pair of chromosomes after fertilization, when they are united with the opposite sex gamete. It is important to mention mutations which are errors in the process of mitosis or meiosis. They occur as a result of inversions, deletions, duplications, and translocations of genetic material. Dominant recessive genes were discovered by Mendel to be a single gene pair inheritance, which there are two hereditary elements for any trait and are passed from each parent. Alternative forms of the same gene are called alleles, and these include different eye color, etc. A dominant alley can override effects of the recessive alley. Recessive genes only become expressed when both parents carry the same recessive gene, and even then there is only a 1 in 4 chance of it manifesting. An example of a disorder resulting from the dominant gene includes Huntington disease, while an example of a recessive gene includes cystic fibrosis. It is significant to know that genotypes are the total genetic makeup of the individual, while phenotypes are the physical manifestations of the genotype, the observable characteristics like eye color, for example. Codominance is the effect of recessive genes that doesn't necessarily bring about compromise, but instead could be a synthesis of dominant and recessive, for example, AB blood type and the skin color of light brown, which results from combining genes for black skin and white skin uh, phenotypes. There are also sex-linked inheritance, which are traits influenced by single genes that are located on the sex chromosomes. X-linked recessive traits are more likely to achieve uh, expression in males since females have an extra X chromosome to fix the mistake. Examples of these include red-green color blindness. There are also chromosomal abnormalities, where children have either too little or too many chromosomes. In any example, or an example of which is trisomy 21, also known as Down syndrome, since there are three 21st uh, chromosomes. To test for genetic defects, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis tools are used whereby cells from the blastocyst uh, that form after fertilization are taken and DNA is analyzed. Polygenetic inheritance are traits that result from multitudes of genes acting together, such as, for example, intelligence. Genetic experimentation can take the form of gene manipulation, editing, as well as uh, experimental breeding of animals like mice to see how certain uh, traits manifest themselves. These, however, are controversial. 
though some argue that this is the same as selective breeding in encouraging the selection of good traits. In the realm of behavioral genetics, many different study designs are used to distinguish between genetics, hereditary, and environmental influences in humans. Kinship studies compare uh, related and unrelated people and denote whether a trait is influenced by genetics, while ad adoption studies look at how children with different genetics develop in the same environment. Twin studies use identical and fraternal twins to compare what results from genetic or environmental differences. It is, however, hard to infer causation since not all children in the same family have the same environment. Twins may look for different interests despite having the same genetic tendency, and uh, random allocation is impossible. In addition, the new field of epigenetics shows that genes and environment are not necessarily independent, since events can change gene expression, causing genes to turn on or off if need be. Scar and McCartney in 1983 noted that there were three different ways genetic um, or gene environment correlations occurred. There was the passive correlation, where children merely receive genes and child rearing. There is evocative correlation, in which children react from parents, leading them to provide for leading them to provide for an environment that supports children's genes. Finally, there is an active correlation, also known as niche picking, where genes causes children to actively seek out their desired environment. Another thing to consider are teratogens, which are any agent that causes birth defects such as drugs, x-rays, toxic chemicals. These are impacted by the timing, dosage, and duration, as well as the type of um, effect on genetic makeup. The effects of teratogens occur six days after fertilization, where the zygote becomes implanted. Examples of teratogens include the use of drugs and alcohol, um, alcohol of which leads to fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. Other teratogens include diseases like AIDS and rubella, as well as environmental hazards like radiation, Agent Orange, and pollution. The Baker hypothesis, according to Lancet in 1986, postulated that adult diseases was linked to prenatal and early postnatal life stress reactivity, mental health, emotional regulation and risk and also accounted for the risk of cardiovascular diseases and obesity. In summary, we looked at genetics, the gene environment correlation and dangers to the prenatal environment that occur from teratogens. Thanks for watching.